Welcome to The Good Ride, where average riding merges together with extensive gear knowledge to help you find the binding that's right for you. I'm James Beastie. This is the Rome Katana. Next to it is the Black Label. I'll be talking a lot about the Katana, but I will be referencing the Black Label here and there. I rode these with the Rome Bodega, the Ride Torrent, the Ride Fuse, the Nidecker Rift Lace, and a wide variety of boards. I had these for well over a month, and I just kept throwing them on different boards. Then finished off the test with a comparison against a lot of different bindings. So I had a really good idea of how this fits on the spectrum. When it comes to weight, this is two pounds with the discs and screws in per foot. So four pounds total on the board in comparison to the black label, same weight. Two pounds is a good weight, more on the lighter side of things, but not ultra light. Now let's talk high back flex. You've got a decent twist here. There's a good amount of twist and give, and you can see this slit down here gives this a little more flex. When you pull it straight back, there's a little bit of give, but not a lot. There's a good amount of response. There's also foam throughout. A lot of people like that, but none of the Rome bindings ever gave me calf bite. And if you compare this to the black label here, it's a little stiffer, but it still has some twist and it has a little give, but it has this just more snappy dynamic dynamic feel that I really like for response. This feels a little more damp, so if you're riding off piste a lot or in uneven snow, you might like this high back's ability to absorb a little bit more of that chatter, but this just has such a nice dynamic energy to it that it's hard to ignore it. When it comes to flex underfoot, this foam is throughout, so really the only contact point is right here. You get a lot of butterability because this foam isn't super stiff, so it's not like a stiff, damp rubber like you'd see on the bottom of my Atlas that is just not very givey, but very damp. This just allows the board to flex so naturally underfoot. Whenever I got on Rome's after other bindings in the test, these were just the easiest to butter with. It's almost too easy in some instances. It's very dynamic underfoot and increases your pop too. I found that I could ollie a little higher with this, even more so with the black label, even though it has a very similar bottom. They have that same foam, same everything. Something about this just popped a touch more. When it comes to turn initiation and response, the Katana is no slouch and you can dial up or dial down your response with this ankle strap angle adjustability thing. You can put it up higher so that your ankle strap sits higher on your ankle and give you more support and more response but you can also bring it down so it has more freedom of movement less response but it's more of a mountain freestyle to park ride then so this works with a wide variety of boards you can really play around with this. This year I didn't as much, but in the past I was just so blown away by tweaking it up a couple notches higher, tweaking it down lower, putting one side up high, put the other side down low. It's, it's really fun to play around with all these different angles. It really changes your response. Very quiver friendly. When it comes to shock absorption and dampness, the Rome Katana and the Black Label are about the best in the business when it comes to being shock absorbent. You just have a soft EVA foam on the top, then you have that same kind of foam that was in the Adidas Tactical ADV and Xera when they were in business. It's getting passed around now with a lot of other brands. For example, Nitro has this on the top, but a more damp material on the bottom. I really like that combo, but this does a great job with shock absorption. Dampness, it's good, but it really doesn't quiet down the board. If anything, it accentuates the board's energy and makes it feel more lively underfoot. So therefore, when you get into uneven terrain and if you're on a more bucky, more bouncy board, it'll bounce and buck even more because this just springs off that. It helps with your ollie power, which is great, but the compromise to that 
is you have less dampness. At least it isn't an unforgiving buck and bounce because of all this shock absorption. When it comes to ankle strap support, we just talked about that in response. You can really dial up or down your support, but this overall ankle strap feels great. It's a nice surface area and it conforms so well to just about any boot. The toe strap, I feel like this is just a little too soft for me. I have to crank down with this more than I do with other toe straps, but it's doable and I didn't feel the boot move around inside, so that was good. Ratchets are good. They didn't blow my mind, but they're very good, and I, I like them well enough. They never bothered me, and they never caught too much when I was trying to get them off. Let's talk adjustability. The Katana and the Black Label are just so adjustable. Rome understands that it's not just about making a good binding. It's about making a binding to fit any kind of boots footprint and size. You want your boot centered perfectly in the binding. That's more important than any other aspect of adjustability. If you can get it centered, then you're centered on the board and you have more symmetrical response, but also you get to turn the disc this way from tip to tail and get your perfect stance width as well, instead of have to use it this way from heel to toe to center the binding in the board. That just doesn't work as well as centering your boot in the binding and therefore centering your binding on the board. And the way they do that is by having an adjustable gas pedal that comes off, but you can slide this in or out according to your boot size on the gas pedal. And then it has these different snaps right here that allow it to go in. Then you also have an adjustable area right here to where you can loosen this and slide the heel loop backwards and forwards so you get your perfect stance. Not many brands do that, and that's why I love bindings like this. I don't know if you can really see this with the camera here, but you can change the angle of the high back. You can actually cant the high back along with the cant of the base plate to really line up with the angle of your ankles, your knees, and your hips for a snowboard stance. And it, it really creates less stress on most joints out there. Of course, you have the adjustable response support thing here on each side, and you can move this up or down to get whatever you want for whatever kind of mood you're in. The black label has all the same adjustability and cool features as the Katana. The hybrid mini disc is much bigger than a regular mini disc and much smaller than a full size disc, but you can mount these full size discs if you want to get a little more dampness, a little more response. These work with setback inserts and you're just stuck at whatever the stance width of the setback insert is. But it's better than a mini disc that can't do setback inserts at all. I wish there was a, some dampening material. Maybe they put this up more on the top of the footbed so there's more dampening down here. But not everybody's going to agree with me on that because you do get a lot more pop and you get a much more lively feel underfoot so it's a trade-off there. Overall the Rome Katana has been a very recommendable binding over the last few years since 2022 when they lightened it up and gave it an overhaul and it's still amazing in 2024.